The 4-inch log cabin trim tool is one of a series of trim tools developed by Jeannie and Wright. This has very specific features which allows you to make 4-inch log cabin blocks easily and accurately and all of your logs will end up being the same width. The features of this ruler include a quarter of an inch grip around the entire outside edge and there are also gripper dots included on the ruler. This grip holds the fabric in place when you're cutting so it doesn't slip and it ensures accuracy. There are also these nested squares that go down the center of the ruler and you use these to square up the blocks as you add an entire round of blocks. A round consists of four logs, one added to each side of the center square. The QR code imprinted on the tool means that you can scan that with your phone at any time and see a review of the video that you are currently watching. There are also icons on the ruler showing three different versions of a log cabin block. All of those can be sewn with the same tool. Now I'm going to show you how it works. Here is my first square. The center square is one and a half inches. That is printed right on the ruler so you know exactly what size you need to cut. The strips need to be cut one and a quarter inches which gives you about a quarter of an inch that can be trimmed to make perfect logs each time and see it allows for any discrepancy in sewing, pressing, um, or cutting. Now I'm going to take the black square, which is the uh, first nested square in the series, place it over the center square, trim with a rotary cutter, flip the block, trim the other two sides with the rotary cutter, and then I have a perfect log cabin. My first rounds, as you can see, all of the logs are exactly three quarters of an inch at this point, and you have a perfect little log cabin. I'm going to repeat the process and sew on two more lights and two more darks. This time I'll move down to the white square in the center of the ruler and I'm going to line this up. If you notice the dash lines are lining right up with the seam lines. Again, I'll trim two sides, flip it, put the white square back in the middle and trim the other two sides and now I have a perfect log cabin and once again, all my logs are the same width. I'll repeat the process by adding two more lights and two more darks and trimming them with the log cabin trim tool. This time I put the black square directly in the center over the tool, trim all the way around, and I have a perfect four inch log cabin. It finishes four inches. At this point it measures four and a half inch. You can see by putting it in the palm of my hand how tiny and perfect these little blocks are. That is the log cabin. I can also do a courthouse steps with the same tool. The trimming is exactly the same, but I sew the fabrics on by doing opposite sides of lights and opposite sides of darks. And I would trim this round, then add two more lights, two more darks, trim again, two more lights and two more darks, and trim just like I did the log cabin trim tool. You can also do a square and a square log cabin. I started with a light square and then my entire round this time are sewn like a courthouse step, so I sewed opposite sides and opposite sides, but they're the same color. And so this gives you the effect of nested squares. If I was putting this together in a quilt, I would start one with light and one with a dark square, so there would be a light and a dark next to each other on the outside edge, and these would create a design. The fourth way that you can use this tool is by doing a half log cabin. And in a half log cabin, the square stays in the center and you add a light and a dark and trim, a light and a dark and trim, and repeat that process six times. To do this particular block, we've added one square that is down in the corner because on your final trim, you're going to put that so it lines up on the outside edge, trim around the entire outside, and you have a perfect half log cabin.